Hello my dear young friends welcome again to the e content learning today my session is on the wonderful lesson our teacher by master vintesh ayengar in the previous session i introduced you to master vintesh ayengar the personality the ganapeet awardee and uh, his contributions to kannada literature many of which have been successfully translated into english in this session i would like you to understand the content of this story this is professor h s krishna from government first grade college kadgodi bengaluru today i would take you through this wonderful exercise of learning this lesson our teacher has been an eye opener in many ways because our teacher this wonderful lesson written by master venkatesh ayengar gives us plenty of food for thought the various aspects of life in rural society in the pre independent times yes going further let me have a quick recap of what we had discussed in the previous session you might uh, definitely understand the contribution enormous contribution of masi venkatesh ayengar to kannada literature which in turn was successfully translated into english because of which he is very popularly and proudly called as kannada da asti an asset in kannada and uh, masti venkatesh ayengar was born in kolar and educated in masti he did his early education in masti and later on he proceeded to mysore and madras and his contribution to kannada literature has been duly recognized and he has been offered the prestigious ganapita award the teacher lesson has been taken from kelavu sanna kathegalu a few short stories which have been written by masti originally in kannada here the story brings out the relations the human relations in the pre independent rural society it is a small group of people and now the characters which are present in this story are teacher which are these characters we have the humble school teacher venkatramaya and the shastri who in the beginning of the story comes across the school teacher and uh, makes the casual inquiry of whether the school is going on the character of school inspector is very interesting and very important the school inspector has the bounden duty of visiting schools and making a detailed report which could make or break a teacher's career the school inspector here had a very important role which you will really find it interesting as you read the story the school inspector meticulously tests whether the teaching learning process has been happening in the school or not the teachers are here put to test the students learning abilities are put to test and anything going wrong here could cost the teacher very much as a result of which the school inspector has a very powerful and an influential role in this story apart from the major characters there are certain minor characters the characters of the students especially the girl students like lakshmi lakshmi in the beginning of the story is seen 
making all effort to get the balapas, the chalk pieces, the white chalk pieces the called balapas. She is seen to making all efforts and we come across the rural games which these girls keep playing. Gauri is another girl student in this class who is highly meritorious and who is very studious. She gives very accurate answers, all the bookish answers, but she wins the heart of the school inspector in the beginning of the inspection. Saraswati is another girl student who is definitely not a very brilliant student. Although she is an average student, but her answers are always filled with a lot of common sense and gains the appreciation of the school inspector. Saraswati was average in looking, average in studies, but very good in looks. And Sita. Sita is another character in this story, a girl student here, who in the long run, after she gets married and uh, her husband was instrumental in bringing uh, the promotion to his teacher. And we have the character of Garuda Mari, a cute little kitten which was always very happy to be with Lakshmi because Lakshmi was offering a very tasty eatable called as Tambitu. Now coming to the theme of the story, the theme as you know it deals with a humble village school teacher. He is so humble and he is uh, very pathetic when it comes to his economic condition. He couldn't even afford to buy salt at times which really had caused difficulties to run his house. But at the same time there are two people who have definitely uh, created a lot of impact on his life. One was the teacher, one was the uh, teacher's wife I mean and the other one was the school inspector. The teacher's wife definitely had an enormous uh, wield over uh, the school teacher. The wife expected that the husband should provide the household items in time so that uh, running the household could become very easy. But contrary to the expectations, our school teacher could not uh, live up to the expectations of his wife. So here the story begins with a petty quarrel between the school teacher and his wife and the school teacher's wife takes her protest all the way to the classroom and wherein the school inspector was supposed to visit. He visits and he finds this elder girl. He doesn't know that this elder girl is none other than the wife of the teacher present there. And now coming to the brief explanation, what is very interesting about the school life is the presence of these children who are very much a part of the enjoyable times in the school. Here the inspector of schools makes a visit as a part of his routine inspection trying to ascertain the quality of education in those schools during those times. The inspector finds certain students to be extremely good. Gauri is one such student uh, who is really good and who gives satisfactory answers which definitely have an enormous impact. It has an impressive impact here on the mind of the school inspector. Saraswati is another good-looking girl, but average in studies. But her answers filled with common sense definitely have a lot of impact on the inspector who was expecting 
certain answers filled with common sense. Lakshmi here befriends a little kitten called as the Garuda Mari and she, ge she keeps giving an eatable called as Thambittu, a delicious, tasty eatable which definitely has a very positive impact on this little kitten. And this little kitten Garuda Mari spends most of its time with Lakshmi. Now let us have the summary for today's session. Here the story is dealing with a humble school teacher who is afraid of two things, two persons in life. The first person being his wife and the second person being the school inspector. And the economic condition of the teacher was very pathetic that he could not even buy the basic things of uh, running a household such as salt. And we find the character of the inspector. He is very meticulous and uh, is very particular that the students are studying well and the teaching learning process has been happening very smoothly in the schools. But he is astonished to find the teacher's wife present in the school. Although she looks like an elder, elder pupil, an older girl, but still the school inspector is amazed and he is surprised at the presence of this girl. And the school inspector makes a casual remark that she looks like a matured one, which is not being taken kindly by the teacher's wife. Now we have various student characters here. All typical names of Hindu goddesses, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Gauri and Sita. Now let us have a few questions to test the comprehension of today's session. Now the first question here is, who among the following was a student in the class? Was it Anusuya, Savitri, Uma or Gauri? Now, who is the student here in the class? Guess the answer. Here the answer arrives. The answer is Gauri. Gauri is the squint-eyed student who was really good in her studies. Now, the second question. The teacher was afraid of. Was it only his wife or the school inspector, both of them or none of them? The correct answer is he was afraid of. He was afraid of both his wife and the school inspector. The little kitten was called as the little kitten, the cute little one. Was it Animari, Puttamari or Garudamari or Chinari? The correct answer here is the little kitten was called as Garuda Mari, the cute little one. The next question for you, who among the following was good in studies? A very brilliant girl here. Was it Gauri, Saraswati, Lakshmi? What could be the answer? Here your answer. Gauri, Gauri, the squint-eyed girl who was very good in studies. She read the best of books in geography, authored by Raghunath Rao. And the last question for today's session. Which common ingredient the teacher was unable to buy? An easy one, isn't it? The answer here is salt. The teacher could not buy even salt. That speaks of the pathetic condition of our humble teacher. And for further references and to improve your understanding, to increase your understanding, you can always refer to your textbook illuminations and uh, definitely make it a point to read Chikkavira Rajendra, one of the best books uh, written by Masti Venkatesh Iyengar. So my dear friends, all the very best. Enjoy 
this process of learning and thank you very much for your patient uh, hearing thank you all my dear students have a great time